Hello, hello. It is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 19th. So, 19th, 20th, whatever. You know, the timing is fluid. Actually, we're going to do this a little bit different this time. So, we're going to get three of these, then we're going to use that deck right there. This is for somebody. It's not for everybody. It may or may not be for you. And remember that the timing is fluid. This is just a message that somebody needs to hear. It may not have your name on it. It may or it may not. We're going to get three of these for the 19th, 20th. 19th, 20th. What is a message that needs to come out? Please show me a message for somebody. Somebody is confused about accepting a contract, you know, wondering if they're making the right choice. You know, there's multiple options here. There's multiple choices, you know. Well, which one is the best option? I think we have a little bit of confusion here. Somebody is trying to, you know, make the most, uh, the best possible decision that will bring balance and harmony to their life. It's like they... They're, they're really trying to um, look beyond the surface to see what is the best option. I feel like somebody is really considering, um, this is the moon coming up, the full moon. But anyway, somebody is considering um, you know, what is the best option? What's, what, what, what should I give my energy to? What what do I need to do to keep things balanced in my life? Somebody may be pulled, being pulled in many different directions. Um, I feel as though somebody is probably considering going down a new path, going through a new doorway. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Somebody is, is in the process of deciding which door I'm going to go through. And perhaps with this full moon, which is like on the 20th, this is for the 19th, 20th, they're going to make that decision. You know, if you think about, you know, this reminds me of the justice card. It does about the, you think about the justice system. It's about making a decision. So somebody is probably going to make a decision right around the full moon as to which doorway they want to go through. And it feels as though they're going to need to have blind faith. And I think that they're probably going to move forward with blind faith. Okay? They're probably going to face their fears, you know, about the unknown. So I feel like there's a, you know, somebody is moving forward down the path they have never been down. That's what it looks like to me. And I think what's happening right now is 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 it's a time of reevaluation because the it's a big decision. It is a big decision. Um, somebody's you know trying to make the best decision that is going to get their life back on track. You know, and you know the full moons are about endings, are about releasing. You know, and, and moving forward and, and really not looking back. So that's what it looks like to me. It looks like somebody's about to step through a new doorway um, right into the unknown maybe sign a new contract um, or get themselves involved in a new contract um, what do we got for the 19th 20th We get the Knight of Cups upright next to the King of Cups reverse. We could be dealing with a water sign, you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, 
we have a person here that may be withdrawn, maybe secluding themselves, maybe um, emotionally distracted right now. Somebody we could be so, dealing with somebody who's emotionally unavailable. Maybe they. Um, Maybe they want love, but they don't have it to offer. <laughs> you know, it's like, I want a relationship. I want love, but right now I'm not emotionally available. So, you know, we, that's what it looks like to me. You know, I feel as though they may be receiving an offer. It's like you may be receiving an offer of love. Somebody may be offering you something. You know, they're offering you some emotional support or they're offering you some tender, loving care. And you're like, oh, I want it. I need it, but I can't give it back. You know, that could be, you know, that could go vice versa. You know, it could go however it is in your situation. It's like one person is offering it, but the other person may not be reciprocating or may not have anything to offer for some reason. I don't know. Definitely conflicted with the five of wa wa. <laughs> It's wands, but it says rods here, and that's where the conflict just happened. Um, anyway, you know, and it's funny because it may seem like it's one thing, but it's not. And that's why there's a conflict. So I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to, you know, there's definitely fear of the unknown, the unseen, you know. Anyway, I think somebody is really afraid of, of getting themselves into any conflict. Um, they may have a lot going on right now. Maybe they're feeling a little overwhelmed. Um, there's a feeling of unhappiness and discontent. And, you know, somebody may not be thinking very positive in, in, in regards to love. I mean, it feels as though, you know, somebody may be deciding that I don't want this. I don't want this offer. I mean, I'm sorry, but... The four of wands reversed, the five of wands upright, and the page of wands reversed. This is bad news. It's like you're not getting the message. Not It's not what you want to hear, okay? Somebody may be getting some bad news, okay? something Or, you know, I don't know. Maybe somebody is deciding that they don't want a commitment or they don't want a relationship or they don't want this whatever they don't want this partnership anymore maybe they're deciding there's too much conflict here there's too much bickering i'm withdrawing i'm withdrawing from this contract or whatever it is i i really feel like somebody is oh god deciding that perhaps you know i won't play this game anymore you know that five of wands is a game so Somebody is definitely closing their heart down. It's like a, a shutdown, emotional shutdown. It's like they're they're shutting down their 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 heart. Unfortunately, um, we have a lot of fire and water here. That's what we have here. We have fire and water. We have a little bit of earth, but it's mostly fire and water. I feel like it's time. Something. It's time. Um, you know, somebody's changed. They're not the same person that they used to be. I feel like um, they've been holding on for as long as they could. You know, somebody's been holding on and holding on and holding on, you know, uh, to what they had or, you know, to their stability, to their security, to what they thought was stable. They were holding on, but there's no emotional fulfillment there. There really isn't. There's, there's no love there. There isn't a love there. And I feel like it's like, this is too much for me. I, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's time for me to break free. It's time for me to make a conscious change to to let this go. It's too heavy for me to carry. It's a ten of wands reversed. Somebody is breaking free. It's like they've reached a point of collapse. Somebody may, you know, just uh, collapse from this heaviness. There could be some sort of um, emotional breakdown because of the, of the water that's here. Somebody is deciding that I can't do this anymore. This is too much. It's overwhelming for me. I, it, it, it's too much. There's no more happiness. There's no more growth. You know, um, it's time for me to, to break free. I mean, the Ten of Wands is break free. It's make this conscious change to explore my 
options, my other doors, my other paths. Let me make sure that this is good. Um, so yeah, I feel like we have somebody here that may be receiving good news that, I mean, not good news, bad news, not good news. This is not good news. Somebody may be receiving bad news that, you know, somebody's decided that it is time to stop holding on to an emotionally unfulfilling situation and I'm not going to play this game anymore and I'm I'm letting go. So I feel like somebody is in the is been you know divinely guided to release cuz that the, the 10 of wands reverse is releasing an unhappy partnership. Okay, the four of wands, that rods gets me every time for is, is unhappiness. So I think that somebody is deciding to, you know, maybe they're going to file for divorce. I mean, I hate to give this kind of message, but it's the truth. Maybe it's time to just break this contract altogether, whether it's a divorce or it's just a, you know, a partnership. There's definitely like two people that I feel are, are breaking up. It's like the door is closing. One door is closing and somebody is going through a new door. That's what I see. I feel like it's, and for somebody, it's not good news. It's not good news. Um, somebody's shutting down their their feelings, their heart. Um, it's just too heavy. I can't do this anymore. And I feel what ha what's happened is that somebody has changed. Somebody has evolved. They're just not the same person. And, and it's like, I, I know that there's more than this, so I can't, you know... Live in some sort of illusion. So I feel like we have somebody that is making a, a decision with this full moon that, you know, it's time to follow my heart in a different direction because I don't want the silver. I want the gold. You know, I want the, I want the better opportunity. I want, you know, wish fulfillment. I want... the best possible love. So I really feel like somebody has went through a transition and their heart says that it's time to let go of something that was weighing them down. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Um... Now, the Queen of Pentacles, we all know, is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It can represent any woman that is very nurturing, very um, fertile, very stable, very solid, very secure, very comfortable with herself. She can grow anything. We have this woman here who has a big offer in her hand. She has a big, big offer. Um, she's beautiful. She's uh, gentle. She's trusted. I mean, see that rabbit? He's not. She's trust. She's trusted. She's trusted. So we have this this woman here, or man. I mean, it could be either. But I, we have this person here who may want to get in the game. May want to share. May want to give. May want to. You know, this woman is trying to give something. She's trying to see what I have. She's trying to sh prove what she has to offer. You know, she's trying to prove something. She's trying to give something. But the star reversed. There's lack of faith. There's lack of hope. Somebody may not believe that the offer is real. We have somebody here that may not believe that whatever this person is offering is real. They may not believe it. Disbelief. There's an obstacle in the way. There's an obstacle in the way that needs to be removed loss of faith, loss of faith, discouragement, 
somebody is discouraged and probably afraid to get themselves trapped, get themselves trapped in a situation so they're shutting down emotionally. I think somebody is, is breaking free from a situation that they don't feel is solid and stable anymore. They may feel like it's not solid. They may feel like it's not stable. They may feel like this woman is, you know, she, she presents herself really well, but she, maybe they feel like her offer isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> the devil that's funny oh my goodness yeah the devil will instill fear absolutely the devil will instill fear to break people apart and to keep people together that aren't meant to be together I mean the devil only brings in um, lies okay it brings in untruth it brings in um falseness okay to keep people trapped to keep people stuck so um it looks as though something is not as it seems somebody maybe because the devil is ruled by the shadow right just like the moon card <laughs> so i feel as though something is definitely not as it seems there could be something that you're not seeing clearly because there's loss of faith. I mean, there's lack of faith. There's lack of trust. There's definitely somebody here that is tempted to, to accept an offer, but they just don't want to get bound, perhaps. You know, I don't want to get tied to this. I don't know what this is. Um, we have Capricorn. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aquarius. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Sagittarius. Um, I feel like there is a strong desire here to go down a path that doesn't lead to anything good, but it's very attractive. We have a very <laughs> tempting doorway that is that is opened. And it may be just a materialistic situation, you know, because this is this guy is, is very materialistic and she's very materialistic too. Somebody may be staying in a situation just for the for materialistic reasons, and that's the obstacle that is hindering their opportunity their love opportunity. So I really feel like there is an opportunity for somebody to go down go through a new doorway and leave behind a false connection, you know, that is based on a lie. That's what it looks like to me. The obstacle is greediness. I mean, the Four of Pentacles is greediness. That's the only thing that has been holding this person back from going through that new door, whatever that is. Somebody is realizing that there's more to life than obsessions and addictions and materialism and ego. They've been in a toxic situation allowing themselves to be taken over, per se, controlled. And it's like now, it's like I'm, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to, to get out of this game. I'm ready to face my demons because there's no love here. Somebody is realizing that there's no love. Yeah. Somebody, Six of Cups reverse. Somebody's clinging... Maybe they're staying in the situation for the children or because of the memories. 
and now they have an opportunity to go through that no new doorway towards love, but they're going to have to face their own fears, and they're going to have to release the past. This is the Ten of Wands, Six of Cups, both reversed. Somebody, they need to release the past. They need to release the the bond, you know? I feel like somebody is probably stopping something right in its tracks, probably a commitment in deciding that they don't want it anymore. I don't want this anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't. Yep, they have a new love now. They have a new opportunity for love. We have somebody here that has a new opportunity for love and they are releasing a situation from the past that just about killed them. Near death situation is being released and we have a new love we do we have a new love connection with somebody that you did not expect and it's after a really troublesome ending okay so we we have two people that are coming together in love you probably know this person this is probably somebody that you've known It's not the person that you expect it to be, put it that way. It's somebody different because that's what the lover signifies to me. It's an unexpected choice in love. Maybe you don't even expect this to happen. I saw 555 just a little while ago, so that makes a lot of sense. Unexpected change. Expect the unexpected. I feel like there's going to be an opportunity to go through a new doorway right into the arms of somebody that you didn't expect. And it's after releasing a contract from your past. It's like releasing one contract and starting another. I think the time is now. I feel like this is, uh, is, is being divinely guided. I think the worst is over. I think somebody is about to sever ties with their past and head into a new love connection. That's what this looks like to me. So that is what I have for the 19th to the 20th. It may not be what you want to hear with this page of wands reversed. Okay? It may not. But... Wherever this is leading you, it's leading you right into the arms of somebody that is perfect for you. So I feel like this is a, the next couple of days is, is, is about breaking free, breaking free from a toxic connection that has drained you emotionally. And, it's le and this is love heals. It's leading you into a healing partnership where two people come together to heal together. So that's what I see. I mean, that's what I have. We have all the signs, so it could be anybody. There's definitely going to be a strong attraction Probably a soulmate connection with the Six of Cups, the Lover's Card, even the Devil. Okay, we have a soulmate connection here. I think we have two people coming together and because it's the right time. It's time. It's time to release and go through that new door. So, yeah, that's what I have for today. Good luck.